Have you ever wanted to ensure that your assembly stored in PDM could only be released if the subcomponents were released first? Well, now you can with SolidWorks PDM 2020. SolidWorks PDM 2020 introduced a much desired functionality called child reference state conditions, which prevents items from being released or approved if their child references aren't also approved or being approved as well. Let's take a look at an example. Here, we have an assembly with several parts. The assembly is in a review state, ready to be released, but not all the components contained in the assembly are released. Some are also under review, but more importantly, some are still in a work in progress state. If we try to move the assembly to the release state, the PDM transition dialog box does warn us that not all subcomponents are released, but it does not prevent us from releasing it. Our goal then is to set up our workflow transitions going to the release state to prevent files from progressing through the transition if the child components are not also released, or at least on their way to being released. I'll hop into my workflow editor and bring up the properties of my workflow transition. Here, I'll switch to the conditions tab and add a new condition. From the drop list, I'll select child reference state. For the comparison, I'll select text equal to. We'll go ahead and choose the appropriate state for our example, design workflow released, as we want to ensure the subcomponents are, or at least will be, in that state after the transition finishes. I'll apply my changes and save the workflow. Refocusing on our original assembly, we'll choose to transition and see the results here. As you can see, we are now prevented from releasing the file as the following files are in a state where they are either not approved or unable to be approved in this transition. This new feature in SOLIDWORKS PDM 2020 allows you to expand your control over the files that move through your workflows and prevents potential confusion among your Vault users. As always, we hope you have enjoyed this video and we continue to invite you to look out for future videos from Hawkridge Systems. Thanks and see you next time.